You so. are like a, a walking meme right now. Yeah, I know. This <laughs> is, <laughs> what's going on with this baby don't hurt me thing on TikTok is it's mind blowing. I don't know where I know. We do know it, it, it rooted in TikTok and exploded there, and then moved its way over into Instagram and YouTube to the mainstream yeah. media now. Um, and I ain't I ain't mad at it. What was the first one? Who did this? For it? do you remember seeing it? Man, my team probably does. I remember just seeing a, a few of them because we did these great photo shoots, or or um, for a clothing company that I love, father and son, right here. We did this great shoot for them. And then people started grabbing all those shoots and just started throwing funniest things with them. And it just took off. And it just TikTok to Instagram to, yeah, everything now. But you could have. I have no idea where it started, though. You could have been insulted by this. Instead, you leaned into this. You're making your own memes. And you have the T-shirt that says, baby, don't hurt me. Yeah, we got shirts, we got everything. It's, it's one of those things. You can't take yourself so serious. But you, I mean, you're so good at that. I'm, I've been alive long enough to know the, when things are so awesome, they could turn a corner mm -hmm. and you could be ground zero. Mm -hmm. and, and, and same thing, you could be on ground zero thinking you're going to get nothing. And the next day you get a call and boom, you're yeah. on top of the world again. So it's just mostly at this stage, it's... I can poke fun at myself. They, I think society thinks, because you get haters with social media, which is great. But I got friends like Billy Gunn and, and Paul White. And who talks more smack than wrestlers? Yeah, nobody. It's like, I don't know if me and Billy have ever actually had a sit down, pleasant conversation. We're busting <laughs> balls the whole time. So it's, it's that crew that you keep tight that keeps you down to earth that no matter how much fame or money you get, you just stay cool, stay calm, and yeah, enjoy it. There's something about gym culture and just being in there with other people who are like-minded that are both, you know, everybody's chasing after the same thing. It's, it's hard to not be in a great mindset when you're in there. That's the truth. And that's like, like you were saying, and congratulations, this won't be out before this, but I'm going to spoil and you can cut it out, but you're going to sit down with Arnold. Yeah. And talk about his incredible new stuff but he's somebody that from day one when i met him to 30 years later it's that fun attitude of gym culture tease the guy have fun with it and laugh at yourself mm. you know and it's it's cool to see because i'm an old man but it life is about i guess they say a great uh, quote would be die as young as late as possible mm. and i love that it's like stay that kids keep that enjoyment of life alive as long as you possibly can and enjoy life